Welcome back to IGN and Gamescom Now. I'm joined by Jerome and Baptiste to discuss Young Souls. Yes. These fine gentlemen are developers on that project, so tell us what is Young Souls? So, Young Souls is really hard for us to pitch because it's a game with, with a lot of different stuff in it. But basically, we can say that it's a, a, an adventure beat them up. Uh, but with a setting, with a, it's set like a classical um, uh, dungeon RPG, mm. where you have two, two stations. You have the village station and you have the dungeon station. Yeah. But and actually, the village takes place in a contemporary world, and yeah. you have this mix of contemporary world in the village and the yeah. medieval setting in the dungeons. And we have our two pro uh, protagonists, so I want to dive into their story and what their deal is. Yeah. But first, I want to ask, you know, I've only ever seen footage of Young Souls yes. with two characters on screen. So is it a co-op only game? Can you play it single player? How does that work? No, in fact, you can play it both in co-op or in single player. And uh, actually, even the single player has two different modes. So you can, play, really? yeah, you can play with the AI that can assist you. And you can also uh, just play by solo and, and switching between the two characters. So. There are plenty of different options. Uh, Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what is the name of our protagonists here? So you got Jen and Tristan. And Jen and Tristan are twin brother and sisters. Uh, so they are, uh, those guys are two, um, um, they, they, they live in a city where they are not really good kids, in fact. They are, mm. they are uh, kind of outcasts in the city. And uh, from, the, from their childhood, they've always been abandoned. They are kind of lost, kid, or lost kids. And they get one day they, they met a guy, a kind of old weird professor, and he sheltered them and he take he took care of them. And he was in fact for them the only guy who really take care of them and they who they really care for. And one day this guy disappeared and that's how their adventure uh, their adventure begins. Uh, is this like a line the witch in the wardrobe kind of scenario where there's a, a separate fantasy universe that they are, yes. are able to kind of teleport to? Yeah, gotcha. yeah, yeah. Uh, and what is going on in this alternate universe? Is it almost like an upside down, where like there's kind of a, an echo of reality, but there? No, it's uh, the other world is deep underground. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, in fact, in the in the story, we got um, um, in the past uh, goblins and humans fought, and uh, humans win, and they send goblins to the uh, deep underground, and then goblins, uh, some goblins um, are forgot forgot about that. But some of them now they know that the, at first they they are on the surface, so they want to reach the surface back. Gotcha. So almost uh, gears of war yeah. coming up from the surface. Yeah, I really sure. like it. Sure. Tell us to, uh, tell us about the goblins. Uh, what is their motivation? Um, and uh, in terms of enemy variety, what are we looking at? Well, we have plenty of different uh, enemies in the game. It's like uh, we have produced a huge content for the beat 'em up kind, yeah. of, kind yeah. of style. And uh, even uh, all the items, we can equip with a lot of different items. We have a, a really strong customization system on the characters. And uh, yeah, there is definitely a lot of different game modes. But for, for the goblins, in fact, we have uh, two kinds of goblins. We got the good goblins and the evil yeah. goblins. <laughs> and you got allied goblins in the game also. So it's not only uh, um, evil, evil, uh, evil people, you got some good goblins. I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah. so in fact, uh, the story with the goblins is that the professor uh, that sheltered the, the two kids was a kind of explorer of the goblin world, and he found some goblins and he get friends with some of them, and he was a kind of he was pacifist, he was kind of diplomat, and one day uh, he get kidnapped by an evil army, uh, evil goblin army, and that this that army wants to reach the surface, but all the other goblins are not really. They are not follow all the goblins are not following him. So you get really many different goblins, and it's not only evil. It's not only, you know, it's not only. I think that's so screen. cool. I, you know, I think one of like the, the most prevailing video game tropes is yeah. that uh, a single faction is always portrayed as purely evil. But it's so much more interesting when it's nuanced. Yes. Uh, this looks. Is this a boss fight or is this just a very large? No, it's, it's just a huge. Just it's a, it's a huge yeah. monster. He's been fed very well. Yeah. Boss, <laughs> the boss fight arrives just a bit after. But uh, yeah, we got a lot of different huge bosses like that. Uh, this one is kind of big troll, and we we, we really wanted to to have many different gameplays. So we have some yeah. small and fast mobs, and some some bigger mobs. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we got a, the, the a game lot of different scales between the enemies, and actually that's the intro of the game. And just after that, you'll, you'll see a huge boss fight with uh, like a wonderful big, big well, mecha mecha yeah, goblin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's coming up. While that's happening, why don't you talk us through the combat? Uh, obviously, side-scrolling, beat 'em up action. Um, yeah, yeah. What kind of abilities do you have? Are there like large cooldowns, or is it all kind of quick, agile attacks? 
Uh, in fact, you can customize your character as you want. You have like five different type of weapons. Each, each one has a completely different move sets, and you you can do some special combos and stuff like that. So it's really deep, and you you can also have some spells, some secondary weapons yeah. that are completely changing the game, like a grappling hook, a bow, bombs, and uh, plenty. It's really yeah. You said the magic word earlier, which is items, and I want to talk yeah. about that, but before, since we have the boss up on the screen, let's discuss boss mechanics, yes. uh, complexity, how difficult and intricate are the boss fights in Young Souls? Uh, the boss fights are, are have a different kind of moves and patterns. They are, they are not like the, the biggest uh, complexity difficult to understand, but uh, you really have to think about how the character will be equipped, because you have uh, different elements that you can uh, use uh, so, in fact, uh, the, the idea behind the game was to, um, to see what was in the, dungeon, in the dungeon and equip accordingly. So you have wow, to okay. always change your, your stuff and gears. And so let's talk about the loot. I mean, uh, the loot, from what I've seen, is almost like a full-blown ARPG. Is that the scale you're going for? Are there things like item rarity, uh, sets? Is that a, a thing? Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> in fact, um, uh, the... Um, we have, we have plenty of different items, and all the statistics have influence on the gameplay, so you have to be careful about the weight of your items and uh, what it will provide. And, uh, but for the loot system, we haven't got a, a classic hack and slash loot yeah. system, because all the levels are handcrafted. There is no procedural uh, levels, mm. so it's more of a story-driven game, and you have to, to buy, uh, buy your items uh, and choose uh, carefully uh, what, what items you will need for the, for the next uh, few dungeons. So it has a kind of its unique system uh, regarding the, the items. Very cool. So we have the twins, uh, and obviously, whether you're playing with an AI or kind of swapping between yeah. or yeah. playing with a friend, um, it seems like co-op mechanics would be heavily incentivized. Can you tell us what kind of co-op mechanics there are in Young Souls? In fact, we, we didn't design uh, real co-op mechanics. We, it's just the gameplay which influences the cooperation. We're just designing uh, items that can influence cooperation, but we don't have really, uh, like, you know, uh, the QTE for with, uh, with the cooperation move. Right. We don't yeah. have this kind of stuff. It's only the stuff you will equip that will... Uh, uh, that will um, uh In fact, the game pushes you to equip your yes. character to have a synergy between them. Yeah, you get synergy. So, yeah, we don't have yeah, specific action. moves in cub because we think the single player mode would be feel like a, a letdown in comparison to the single player experience. Interesting. So you have to think always, even in single player, you, as you control the two characters <coughs> at the same time, you have to think about the the different combinations. So there's equipping your character for battle, yeah. and there's yeah. equipping your character Here, for the, yeah. the battle of uh, the social yeah. hierarchy. <laughs> Here device, it's right? just the equipment, it's just for the hard fit. Yeah. So the game is, in fact, the game is divided in several days. We wanted to have a kind of day cycle mechanic, uh, and we wanted that because we, we, we really like to um, to have this story set in a, in a long period. So we wanted the player to feel uh, that the, this this character at the beginning of the game, they are just like normal kids, and they get better and better, and they became heroes uh, day after day. So we wanted to tell a story that being a hero doesn't take only one day; it takes a lot of days. So we we try to insert in the dungeon RPG mechanics a uh, kind of day cycle, so we can we can make them evolve day after day. So every morning you get a kind of morning routine where you have to equip yourself with only clothing, with only clothes. And after when you go down to the dungeons, you can equip with more dungeon equipments. So dungeon equipments get uh, above your teenager's outfit. So you get some, <laughs> yeah. sometimes you get some crazy looks with, you know, incomplete armors on your, uh, on your teenager outfit. So that's what we wanted to have. We wanted to have a, uh, a big contrast between the two worlds. So they live in a, uh, in a, hum in a human uh, world, in, a, in the human world, and they go to a kind of really classic medieval fantasy world. So we wanted to mix the two with that, the presence of those, these two characters bringing their, bringing their sneakers, bringing their, yeah. their jeans, and putting some armors and putting some, some helmets. I like uh, that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And we even That's have cool. a, one goblin who's a big fan of sneakers, and he reveals the hidden power. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we inserted some goblins in town. So here yeah. you are in, you are in, the, in the, human, the human part of the town, so you have a lot of different, uh, different shops. And you have control over this. Yeah, yeah, you, you control the base. Tell us about the kind of activities you can do in town. So in town, here for example, you are in the boxing center. In the boxing center, it's uh, the, 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 
the, the, the place where you learned how to fight. So at the surface, you have boxing, and uh, below the boxing center, you have a, a kind of goblin arena, and you get the goblin uh, sword master that teaches you how to use sword, and he, he unlocks also abilities for the players. So you get this, you get this kind of uh, this kind of, uh, of shops of places, and you get also the hidden the hidden place uh, hidden place in the, in the in the town is uh, the Goblin Street. So here, the this, player, is, this is how we're getting. This is the Goblin Street. The Goblin Street is more like a classical uh, the classical village in uh, the classical village in, for example, Di Diablo. Sure. So yeah, at the beginning of the game, this village is totally empty, <laughs> and then you have to I free love the contrast <laughs> of like. Putting on jeans, <coughs> going down, buying a shield. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have, at the beginning, it's totally empty, and you have to free them in the in the dungeons, and then they populate, uh, they repopulate the, the place. And you have, we have a lot of many different uh, characters, and all of the characters have his own story, so you can develop the story day after day. So we wanted to have, the day cycle is not just uh, here for, you know, the feeling, but we wanted to add some different mechanics in the story with the day cycle. Great, so uh, we're running a little bit short on time, but tell me yeah. about the campaign length as well as kind of the progression in terms of how you're ramping up uh, mechanics and narrative throughout the, the duration of the campaign. Yeah, so so in fact we are, um, so the story takes place, it, it begins uh, with uh, just a normal, normal life of those two kids and they, they, they just have to, to save their, their father. And so the, the, the game is divided in, the, in days, as I said, and the day is divided in two parts. So you get the morning part where you have to equip yourself, you go to town, etc. And you get the night session. So here we are, we are studying a night session. So when you go down the elevator, it's studying a night session. And during the night session, you can do uh, any all the dungeons you want, in fact. And it's only the equipment you, you bought uh, the, the, the day before that would limit your progression. So when you get limited by your, by your level, by your progression, you can say, OK, I got enough stuff. I'm just going to sleep, and, and I start another day. Mm. And the, the story, uh, you get a lot of many different dungeons. You got some dungeons that will make the storyline advance. We got a lot of different uh, um, bosses. We got a lot of different enemies. And we got a lot of different uh, antagonists that will occur, that will, that will uh, have some different sense in the game. That's so, very cool. You know, I have to say, like, you look at a side scroll beat em up action game, and I think you think, well, this is very simple, but this is deceptively complex. There's a yeah. lot going on. Yeah. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, we are out of time. Jerome Baptiste, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Uh, You're welcome. You, you can definitely check out more Young Souls on IGN, so be sure to do that. The game looks awesome so far. Uh, and for Gamescom, don't go anywhere, because we'll be right back after this.